Hi, it's Charity, and welcome back to the Lucid Legacy Challenge, a challenge in The Sims 4 by The Lucid Simmer. A link to The Lucid Simmer's channel, as well as the rules and a playlist for the series, will be in the description below. So we're following Adora as she's just finishing her teenage years. Her birthday is actually this week, and she's supposed to have multiples. So I did add the lot trait on Leyline, and I did set Mayhem, which is her mother, to not be able to get pregnant. So previously she was able to get pregnant and she had Adora, and then I set her to neither. So in the gender specifications in Kaz, you can change Sims to not be able to get pregnant. And so I did that because she's only supposed to be able to have one child. And so I thought that that would prevent her from accidentally having a baby because sometimes her and Trevor decide to woohoo and I do have risky woohoo on and I didn't want them to autonomously have another child. But then Trevor went and got himself abducted by aliens. So I also adjusted the MC Command Center limit on offspring to six. So we'll see how that goes. I do not know if he's pregnant yet. He's not showing any signs. So potentially we could have an alien pregnancy here. And Adora is just getting through her day. It's only 10 o'clock, but she's already rested. Oh, and he doesn't understand. Fine. Please stop playing in the puddle. I don't like it when dogs play in puddles because they actually interrupt whatever it is you're doing. And that's annoying. So unfortunately, we have been losing some of the chickens. So we only have two hens and one rooster left. And I did remove the lot trait for the wild foxes because it looks like all of the foxes that Adora knew have left the game. And also I removed the bunny home and the bird trait because it seems like all of the bunnies that she knew were gone. And also, I didn't think the birds should live forever, even though they can. So I decided to get rid of the birds. So we only have all of the other pets left. We still have a ton of pets. Okay, so let's see where are we going to go today. Which world are we going to visit? Oh, Copperdale. Well, they have the nice little fair that's out there. Maybe we'll go to the fair. Maybe not. We'll see. Okay, I'm going to rule out the high school and the auditorium. And we're going to have an event at Thrifty. And it looks like there's no unique events that we can have at Thrifty. So we're going to just have a club hangout there and maybe do their three o'clock uh, whatever type of meeting they have. They usually have something around three o'clock and it varies by day. Sometimes it's a poetry reading. Sometimes it's a comedy club meetup. It depends. So we'll see what's there. I did add some red curtain backdrops for Adora's stage and another set of amps. So she has all she needs in order to get the music playing. And then we have a little bit of seating out here for people to watch the show as well as the bar area. I had to move the bar back a step because for some reason, when the butler was making food right here and Adora tried to get something out of the refrigerator, it would stop the butler from making food. Actually, maybe we won't have the club over because they're the same people that we always socialize with. Maybe we'll meet someone new. Okay, so today is poetry night. Oh yeah, Sophie, you don't look like an occult at all. <laughs> Yeah, her eyes are occult eyes, but she's an adult anyway. 
looks like the only people here are adults. I did set it to teen neighborhood and I did see some teens walking by, but none of them have stopped to hear me play. So let's just take a break and maybe do the poetry reading. And of course, Richard is calling. He's probably wanting to hang out, but nope. Sorry, Richard. We're going to be by ourselves tonight or actually just out without our friends. The nice part about the bubble tea area is that people don't pick up their teas. I don't know why. Pick up your bubble tea. But no, I get to drink one for free because no one picked it up. Okay, I guess Adora decided to do a poetry reading without me asking her to. It's funny how these events are mostly attended to by adults, and yet this is the high school year's pack, where teenagers is supposed to be the focus. Well, I thought she might meet some teenagers tonight, but no, it looks like we're not going to meet anyone new. Well, maybe we can make a fashion look. Well, this isn't completely ridiculous. Um, yes, it is, but that's the whole point of thrifty. Yeah, this outfit really isn't a winter outfit, but it, it looks okay. Maybe a workout outfit. Oh, finally, a fashion browser that's a teen. All right, so we do have some teens coming in here. Let's try playing our guitar now. Of course, none of the teens are paying attention to us. We're playing to an audience of one, which is quite normal for Adora. Yeah, you're an adult. Why are only the adults coming out to tip Adora? That is so strange. Oh, Leslie, you're a teen. Let's talk to Leslie. Well, that was an immediate sentiment. Oh, he's gloomy. And he's a bookworm. So, I don't know, not really a music lover. Okay, and the flirt did go well. However, he immediately left. So, I don't think he's the one. Is he compatible, though? No, he's not compatible with us. Well, maybe I should order some food. <laughs> she is really hungry. Yeah, the bubble tea person is stuck behind the counter making bubble tea after bubble tea. I can't get in an order to get some food. That's okay. I brought my own with me. Well, Adora is getting quite tired, but I might wait until about 2 a.m. and then go home. Well, DeMarcus tipped us. Let's see if he's any more interesting than the other one. He's very sad for some reason, though. Can we cheer you up? Oh, he doesn't like the music that's playing. That's not a good sign. Give a massage to DeMarcus from recent social interactions. Okay. Yeah, that's a romance interaction. Okay, the want went away and things are a little bit frozen right now. So I guess we're going to go home. It's after three anyway. Oh no. I just came home. And Trevor is definitely pregnant yeah he's uncomfortable because he has to pee and he's pregnant <laughs> he's got a weird tummy ache yeah that, that is definitely a pregnant sim okay trevor well why don't you go use the toilet and yeah we'll figure out what to do with that later we also have to update our social media status because he's losing his fame and then May, yeah, I think May, you're going to have to make room in here for some more uh, baby stuff, <laughs> but we'll get to that later. All right, Adora, let's go to sleep. <laughs> I love the animations they have for the pregnant male sims who got abducted. It's kind of cute. Okay, Trevor finally finished that song that's been in his inventory for ages. Oh, and he still has another one. Oh, no. Sonic is passing away. All right, so we're starting to lose the rodents. I think talking to the flower bunny is one of the most difficult tasks to complete for the holidays because it takes so many interactions with him or her that it's just ridiculous. You have to spam like 10 or 12 socials before you actually get credit. And I keep getting notifications that my animals are getting old, which is depressing. I don't like being at home. After Adora finishes this baking task, then she's going to go out again. Okay, so which world are we going to go to today? 
And, oh, Granite Falls, which means we have to take a vacation. Maybe we'll do this without Trevor and May this time. Okay, so which lot are we going to go to at Granite Falls? Well, this is a community lot, the Granite Falls Forest, which is a national park. So we can actually have a ranch animal day there. Maybe we'll do that since the animals are kind of getting old and won't be with us for very much longer. Well, it would probably be wrong not to take Trevor in May for the ranch animal day. So we're going to go gather up all of the animals. Oh, Tiny has reached the end of his life while in a Sims inventory and has been whisked away to better places. That's sad. Come on, I'm trying to save my animals by taking them on vacation. But unfortunately, I think we had to say goodbye to Tiny. Okay, we still have Gertrude, two of the chickens, oh, three of the chickens, and... Let's see, we have Clara the cow and the four goats and Cotton, which is the other llama. Yeah, did you know that you could actually take all of your cottage living and ranch animals with you wherever you go? Just put them in your inventory. And then when you get there, make sure you have an animal shed if you're placing a cow or a llama, a chicken coop if you're placing your chickens, and you can place the goats anywhere. Okay, we actually invited some kids over because the kids need to play with the animals. They like petting zoos. So we're having a random petting zoo event at this national park. Uh-oh, <laughs> Trevor has got his stomach sticking out again and it's making weird sounds. We didn't get to see that the first day because we weren't with Trevor. The only thing is, Adora's kind of tired. She really didn't get very much sleep last night, so we'll have to chug some coffee. Oh no, Grim is here. Who are you here to take, Grim? Oh, it's Cotton. Okay, we're losing the other llama. Sorry, Cotton. At least you got to participate in a Ranch Animal Day event. Oh, sorry, Trevor. Whimsy didn't like that. Okay, Adora's over here playing for everyone at the ranch gathering, but no one is paying attention to her. They're all petting the animals, as it should be, because, to be honest, these are the last days that we're going to have these animals, so they deserve to have some attention. Look at all that chicken feed, though. Those chickens are spoiled. Just remember when you're leaving to put all of your animals back in your inventory, especially if you're on vacation. Make sure you do this before the vacation ends. Really? You guys jumped up there and got trapped by these things? That's why your needs are so low. Well, at least I have the playable pets mod. Just click here, teleport, they're down. And of course, they're both going for the litter box at the same time. Why don't you go eat? And then you can go to the litter box after that. You can actually manage your pet's needs with this mod as well. If you need the link to download the mod, it's on one of my other videos or in my Discord server. Okay, let's take roll. We have two cows, three chickens, and four goats. Okay, three chickens, four goats, and two cows. All right, so we're good. And whenever I go on vacation, I always forget to take all my food out of the fridge, and then I go home and have no more food. So we won't forget that this time. Oh, Mr. Wolf is becoming an elder. I knew I heard the age up sound. It takes forever for them to age up, actually. Oh, John Luck is also aging up, so he aged up first. And then Mr. Wolf aged up. We now have elder dogs. Why does my stuff keep breaking? Butler, can you fix things instead of complaining about how dirty it is? I mean, it's your fault. You keep using the fridge. Maybe I'll just upgrade this refrigerator. It doesn't have the right color of blue. Oh, I hate this about the Sims. All right, so whenever you want a specific color of blue, look, we have blue-green, royal blue, 
and like sky blue, but no babyish blue, which matches my counters. So I'd have to change all of my counters in order to use one of those. We'll just have to go with the white is probably the best. And while we're at it, we'll probably upgrade the stove too, because May has so much money now that it's just ridiculous. We'll just buy the best appliances that don't break. And then there will be less for the butler to do. Oh, don't forget, if you have horses in an apartment complex, that you need to teleport them up to where they're supposed to be. They will not use the elevator. I think you can get them to use portals, but I don't bother with that. I just give them a teleport, but you have to have a mod for the teleport. So that is one disadvantage. Oh, John Luck, he looks so different when he's an elder. Or she. Actually, John Luck and Mr. Wolf are both females. I did not try to do that. I accidentally did that. I did not mean to make them females. They were supposed to be males. Oh, Mr. Wolf, you need a bath. I'm not sure if I can do it in this one, but we can try. The way this step is, I don't think it will work. Oh, it actually works. I mean, through the wall, but hey, it's okay if it clips a little bit. It's on a platform, so it's a step up. And it looks nice, but I didn't think it would be functional for bathing a large dog. Now with the small dogs and with the toddlers and infants, they actually pick up the small dog or the child and place them in the tub. So you can have a little bit more freedom with that. But with the large dogs, I have found that they need two complete tiles along the edge of the tub and you can't even place a toilet next to it. I mean, sometimes it will work, but in my experience, it doesn't work too well. Okay, are you done, Adora? Let's get something to eat before we go out. And we're going to have bacon mac and cheese. Yes, I know, Principal. I am missing school, but that's okay. Because Adora doesn't go to school. She's only a C student. She actually hasn't dropped down to D yet. And I was hoping to get her responsibility out of range. Okay, it is. Good. I don't want her to be responsible because that doesn't fit her character. She has good manners, which is okay. That's all right. I'll let her have that one. Trevor, don't go cry in bed. You need to go to the bathroom. Why do pregnant people wait until the last second to go to the bathroom? You're going to pee your pants. Oh, it's almost Adora's birthday, but it's not tomorrow. It is, I thought it was Thursday. Yeah, it's Thursday. Why does it say it's almost her birthday when it's two full days away? That is kind of strange. Okay, what world are we going to go today? San Sequoia. All right, so there's a lot of choices in San Sequoia. There are a lot of new public lots in San Sequoia. Okay, what lot are we going to visit? We actually have a lot of good choices on here. The Sequoia Commons by the Savvy Sim. Okay, this is the Sequoia Commons by the Savvy Sim. I downloaded this from the gallery and we're going to have a celebrity meet and greet because that's something that we haven't done yet. And May is going to be our celebrity. So this is an arcade room, pretty cool. And then we have kind of like a little bar area. And this is a cafe slash library. And what's cool about this is they actually have a coffee maker. I mean, come on. Everyone who builds a community lot should always put a coffee maker in it. And I don't see hardly anyone doing that, even if they have an establishment like a lounge or a bar. And this is upstairs. Oh, this is nice. This is like an upstairs apartment. And kind of like a restaurant seating area, even though this is not a restaurant, but that's okay. And then there's a second apartment over here that looks like it has an art studio in it. Oh, this, this would be really cool to live in. You'd live above an arcade. How cool is that? All right. And then there is, oh, this is the bedroom area. 
or maybe it's another apartment. I don't know how they're supposed to be laid out. But anyway, there is basically living quarters upstairs. Oh, okay. I see the, the apartment doors are back here. This would be a cool building for for rent. I mean, look at all of these apartments. That's pretty cool. I think this would be in an awesome apartment complex. And you could basically just have the downstairs areas as community space. So yeah, if you want this lot, go ahead and go download it. It's in my favorites list. And also the name of the creator and the lot name will be in the description below. Okay, there is a bartender already, unfortunately. So maybe we'll have to put our little bar out here and tend that. Maybe we'll be out here in the... Oh, man. The only thing I don't like about this is, unfortunately, when you have vendor areas, you have to actually hire vendors. Oh, but there's a busking station. Maybe we'll go busk instead. And I'm going to go ahead and hire vendors. I don't care if it costs money. I want them to be populated. No, Trevor, you can't go to work. Please take a vacation day. I don't know if all of these will have vendors at them. That's the thing, though. Hopefully it does populate all of them. Oh, it looks like it is. That is really cute. The only one I can't populate is this one because it's actually a food stall. So you would have to come here with your own stuff to sell. But oh, this is so cute. Oh, no. Are you going to go man one of the other stalls? Oh, no. She liked the decor of the garbage dumpster. All right. Oh, I forget which one of this is from. It might be from one of the newer ones. Oh, yes, this is Tomarang. Okay, so who is tipping Adora over here? Are there any teenagers? Young adult, young adult, adult, a young adult, young adult. Okay, no. What? Why is there a horse here? I did not bring my horses. Someone else brought a horse. I did not think you would be seeing random horses at community lots. That is pretty weird. There's another one. That is kind of awesome, actually. And here's another one. <laughs> I think it's awesome, but this is the first time that this has happened. I have not seen horses just randomly showing up at community lots. And this is not even the horse world. Why are they here? I mean, it's cute. It's kind of funny, though. There are no teenagers here, though. All of them are young adult or older. It figures. Why is my butler here? That is kind of weird. She does follow me around when I take vacations. But this is a community lot. Okay, she left. I don't know why she was here. And it's already a gold event. Okay, we want to visit a celebrity hotspot. I should have May complete the world famous celebrity because that'll honestly prevent her fame from decaying. And that's kind of nice. Oh yeah, that's right. Trevor is also working on it. Well, Trevor needs to post to his social media and so does May. So that way we make sure that we do at least one thing a day that tries to get them some fame. And Adora, she doesn't have to get any fame because she will never become a celebrity. But she is working on her guitar skill. And she's still in her workout outfit, which is kind of tacky. All right, where is a bathroom in here? Go use the bathroom, Adora, because you've got to go. And then maybe change into something more appropriate for the event. Oh, it's alien night. Okay, um, well, May is an alien. May, were you just about to flirt with someone? I just stopped her. I saw that. I don't know why she was about to do that. She is not flirty. That would have been bad. Trevor would have been so mad if May started flirting with someone. She doesn't have any flirty traits either. She's a geek, an overachiever, childish, Socially awkward, genius, and squeamish. There's no reason for her to be randomly flirting. Unless she's in a flirty mood, and she's not. Okay, you can talk to Trevor. Yes, go flirt with Trevor. 
I'm just waiting for the new expansion to come out. And it's going to be so hard to keep these two in love because I'm not focusing on them. I'm going to be focusing on Adora, but they're going to be in our household because Adora is basically living with her parents for her entire life. Okay, and the vendors are all going home at 9.30. Oh, well, I guess that's reasonable. 163 simoleons? Who bought something for 163 simoleons? May! What drink cost you that much? That is expensive! Well, it's not like she can't afford it, but still. I did not expect 163 simoleons to be a for one drink. Either that or maybe she ordered it for everyone. Alright. So... Adora is a notable newcomer again. I thought they fixed this bug. So annoying. She's out of the spotlight and she keeps getting fame. All right. So we stepped out of the spotlight again. She's not allowed to get any fame. I mean, the rules don't say that she can't be famous. It just says that she can't complete the world famous celebrity aspiration. And I just don't want her to have any fame at all. Because it's just supposed to be something that she just never gets really famous for. Even though she's good, sometimes that's not enough to be famous. And that's basically what is happening to her. And that's her story is that she wants nothing else in the world other than to be famous for her music. And she can't earn a living doing it. She basically ends up staying with her parents her whole life. I know it's kind of sad, but that is just the story that we're going with here because that's what the rules state for this character. And Trevor is scared again. I thought we got over your fear of the night. I guess we didn't. I think I got him confident, but then I didn't have him go outside. Oh, well, let's try to psych yourself up and then brush your teeth. And maybe you'll be confident enough to go outside because you do have a confident boost from riling up a sim. Okay. Maybe because you're famous. No, you did lose something in the vending machine, though. That's okay. Mm, I don't think Trevor's neat. Nope. No, I'm not allowing that. He's brushing his teeth. How is that neat? Neat Sims actually refuse to, to take care of their own hygiene. They won't shower. You click auto-solve and they'll go clean something that doesn't need to be cleaned versus taking a shower or brushing their teeth. Oh, he doesn't have the want to get rid of the fear now. Oh, that's stupid. Come on. I did that on purpose. Or did it just go away? Oh, I'm getting rid of that. That's not fair. <laughs> okay, it's gone. He was outside when he was confident. He just took too long brushing his teeth and the ability to make it go away disappeared. When that pops up, it should not go away. All right, Adora, I think you've played enough guitar. I don't think there are any teenagers showing up. Maybe we'll work on our mixology skill. Oh, a little sneak peek at one of my uh, upcoming series. I made this um, Agnes Crumplebottom, and she is aged down version of Agnes. So that's coming up. So May is an alien. She can order alien night drinks. But Adora is only half alien, and she cannot. And where is the bartender going? That's annoying. Fine, I'll order for myself. Oh, they're even hitting Trevor up for autographs, and he's only a rising star. Oh, wow. <laughs> Sorry, Trevor. That animation is just too funny. May, I told you to get coffee. You don't want regular drinks. You want coffee. Oh, it's spoiled. No, don't order another drink. Well, it's after three, but Adora has plenty of energy, so I'll still practice my mixology for a little while. We need it 
to be level 10 and it goes kind of slow because I'm not just having her grind it out. I'm actually serving drinks at the different parties she attends. No, drink your drink. What the heck? It disappeared. May, don't ignore it. Drink your drink. I don't know why she went all the way over here to drink that drink and then just put it down, which makes it disappear. She's going to lose her coffee fanatic lifestyle if I let her do that too much. Because when she gets the uncomfortable buff, she's supposed to drink coffee. And if she doesn't drink coffee, it will go into your lifestyle is at risk. And I want her to keep that lifestyle. The techie lifestyle, I think that one is optional. Although I would prefer to keep it. And then people person, I forget. I have to go back and look and see what's required. I know coffee fanatic is definitely required. Trevor, what is wrong with you? Go to sleep. For some reason, he gets that scared buff. And, and I think it's because he's bugged since I cheated to remove the fear. But he didn't have the scared buff when I cheated to remove it. So it should be fine. I guess I'm going to have to add that back. Okay, it's like 5.30 a.m. I think we should go, even though Adora is not really tired. Finish your last drink. Okay, stop tending bar. Okay, someone grab that drink. Thank you. Now I can put this in my inventory and go. Okay, what was that? That was... Oh, Thomas learned not to scratch furniture. Okay. I, was, I thought that was saying that Trevor was pregnant. But no, Thomas just learned not to scratch the furniture. And how can I get his fun up? Oh, he likes to sit on the little scooter thing. So he likes to sit on the Roomba. <laughs> I tried playing with him with the laser pointer, but I think he is a lazy cat. No, he's fluffy, affectionate, and a prowler. He's not lazy. Why did he not want to play with the laser pointer? Oh, well. His fun is fine now. I just need to pet him. But now he's too busy with the Roomba. Come on, Thomas. Get off the vacuum. I want to pet you. I can't fix your affection need. Okay, this is another thing that is handy. If you have the playable pets mod or selectable pets mod, is you can tell him to get off the stupid vacuum so that you can pet him. Yes, I want to give you attention, but you have to be off the Roomba or it won't let me do that. There you go, Thomas. That'll fix your attention need, or at least maybe give it a boost. Oh, wow. That gives it a big boost. Oh, and he actually gets attention by meowing at the goats? Okay. So, yeah, goats can be friends for your cats and dogs. That's nice. I think chickens can, too. Yeah, you can meow at the chickens. So, any sort of meowing at will get his attention up. I don't know why he's uncomfortable. He has all of his needs met. Maybe he's dirty, but you can't really tell since he's a black cat. Oh, he's sick. It's hard to tell if they're sick sometimes because he didn't have any symptoms. At least none that were visible. There, that'll fix you. I can't brush him and he's hairy though. Okay, well... We're not good enough friends with them to brush them. Okay, so we're down to two cows, two horses, three chickens, four goats, two cats, and two dogs. Poor May. I mean, she really wanted to not live on the farm. But because of Adora, she had all of these animals. And now, because of Trevor, she's going to have more kids. <laughs> she did not want to have more kids like her mother. Her mother had a ton. I'm not sure how many he's going to have, but we will find out. All right, Adora, where are we going today? And that's not a very modest sleepwear outfit. I forgot I had that one. Let's change to a different one. There, that's better. <laughs> Maybe I should delete the other one because it's not like she lives alone. And it's kind of weird to have her walking around the house in that. It's okay for Trevor to walk around like this because he does have a sweatshirt on and, and maybe briefs. You know, sometimes guys are a little bit improper, but it seems weird for your teenage daughter to be walking around in her bra and underwear. 
Okay, so what world will we be visiting today? Oh, it looks like we're going shopping. Magnolia Promenade. Okay, and which lot are we going to visit? We probably won't be able to do an event. Oh, and it's the only one that's not old fashioned. Okay, Del Sol Music Store by Erica Charlotte. Well, that's actually a really good outfit for this store. So basically, this is the only modern retro one. And I liked the look of this, but the other stores that I had picked out was like Diagon Alley from Harry Potter and this little shopping mall complex that has four different stores and is kind of, I don't know, Victorian maybe? I'm not sure what the word is for it, but it's definitely less modern than the uh, the music store and then this is the other one that i chose which was kind of cool looking so all of them are multi-store complexes except for this one and this one is a music store i was thinking possibly we could buy this one for adora but it is a little bit too expensive i would have to downgrade some of the things in here and it, it is really, really nice. It has a lot of music stuff. And this is the type of store that I have actually seen. You know, they have this glassed in area with all of the guitars. And this is pretty typical setup of a music store. And it even kind of mimics the red carpet thing. And then in the basement, it has a safe, which is kind of cool. This is where they keep all of their valuable <laughs> and there is a bat right next to the door okay that's kind of cute and anyway so this is where they keep all of their really really expensive guitars i suppose so i guess these are signed oh and it looks like those are downsized for some reason they don't look like they're the normal size okay those do but these look downsized i don't know if they are or not i have mine in my inventory yeah mine is much bigger than those so it's kind of cute that they're downsized but anyway there's a whole bunch of stuff back here that you're not supposed to get and then there's a safe door and then a safe deposit money vault basically that's really cute i like the setup but i don't think we can afford it because it's like two hundred thousand simoleons and may doesn't quite have that much money to spend we'd have to focus on getting a lot of cash before we bought this so i might stick with buying my own and she's standing over here in the grass that's kind of odd it's also odd that you're in your swimwear and you're an employee is that the uniform for this store uh you're supposed to be wearing a uniform that'd be a really weird uniform okay but i don't know who set the uniforms for this place anyway okay so and there's an atm in the front but this is of course the uh one from the criminal career so it's not actually a functional atm it's just kind of like one on a dolly that's strapped up so that's kind of weird to use that as an atm anyway so what we're going to do here is set up our music stand and busk for tips and i assume that adora has permission from the owners because if you were to do this in real life they would probably kick you out and of course everyone's just going right in the store and ignoring adora oh one person came out but he's an employee why are the employees all wearing swimwear? He's not. There's not even a pool anywhere. Well, maybe these count as pools? Yeah, it is. Yeah, I know, Principal. I'm ignoring you. I don't care that her grades are slipping. I know that she's going to age up soon. I think the reason why they're wearing swimwear is because of these little pools over here. So, unfortunately, if they have to go over there, they basically change into their swimwear. Because this is what they're supposed to be wearing. Well, there's some young adults here. Oh, there's a teen. Okay, is she going to tip us? I think maybe Christina already did. 
No, she's too sad. She walked away. Hmm. Richard is asking us to hang out at the ancient ruins. Really, Richard? I don't want to go there. No, thank you. You can come here if you want to, but I'm not going to the ancient ruins. This place is much more cool. Of course, we brought our own quick meals with us. And she's going to go change into her swimwear and sit by the pool. Okay. You do you, Adora. If I do buy a place like this, I'm going to have to get rid of these pools. Maybe turn them into fountains? Okay, let's go back to playing our guitar. Well, I think Christina's kind of interesting. Adora is going to introduce herself to Christina, and she's really walking slow for some reason. Well, you know how it goes with The Sims. Anyway, I know she's a young adult, but we're going to be aging up soon. So maybe if they're compatible, we might consider her. And I'll have to go back and look at the recording and see if she tipped us or not. She was listening for a long time, and someone tipped us. I don't know who it was, though. No, don't watch a funny video. Just try to introduce yourself. Oh, you did introduce yourself. Okay. Get to know her, then. She does work in a music store. She's self-assured. Okay, she doesn't seem to have any compatibility with Christina. Not positive or negative. So, I guess not. I wonder if anyone would like anything to drink at a retail store. Probably not. Maybe we should have gone with Richard to the ancient ruins. It's kind of dull here. Oh, Trevor got promoted. So he's definitely going to be a musician. Well, if I make a couple of drinks, will anyone come and pick them up? I'm not getting paid for them. It's fine. Duly noted, though, if I have a retail store, unfortunately... No one is going to be interested in a bar or anything like that. Maybe I can find a mod that will allow my retail store to be more than just a retail store. Like have some kind of food. I know that if you put the retail refrigerator in like a microwave, that they will make themselves pastries, but you won't make any money from that. Yeah, I don't even think they're going to come here and take my pre-made drinks. I'm going to have to drink them myself fine oh wait is she going to drink my drink you're on duty uh, oh she's going to order something chips okay she was hungry basically okay everyone's ordering chips because they're hungry chips are free okay i'm going to stop tending bar so she'll actually drink her drink for some reason she picked it up but she wouldn't drink it unless i stopped tending bar Oh no, May lost the techie lifestyle. I'm not even playing May. That's not fair. You gotta review the rules. Yeah, basically she's supposed to have the techie lifestyle too. I thought so. Alright, well we'll have to build that back up. She gets the techie lifestyle by interacting with her drone. At least that's the easiest way to get it. Alright, Adora, we might have to go home. I need to make sure that May's lifestyles are intact because i don't want to end this challenge by may not being able to have her goals met so we'll go to the restroom real quick and then we'll leave oh look they even put a coffee maker in here awesome okay that's not even fair it's not even in progress right now I know she was in danger of losing it for a long time but i did techie things and it went back to being there. And now it's just locked. I guess if you lose it, then they reset it to like zero. Oh no, Trevor has gone into labor. Um, well, yeah, we're going to postpone that as long as possible. And Trevor's asleep anyway, so he'll sleep through his labor. Yeah, not looking forward to that one. Okay, today is actually supposed to be Adora's birthday. So when Adora ages up to young adult, there are going to be newborns in the household. And that is kind of like overshadowing her because they're going to be so busy with newborns that they're not going to be able to pay attention to Adora on her adult birthday. That is kind of sad. 
especially since her parents treated her like the center of the universe her entire life. So what should we do? Should we send them all back to the alien homeworld? Or should we keep them? If we keep them and raise them, then that still doesn't violate the rules according to some of the comments that I have got. And I kind of agree with that because they are not Mayhem's children. They are Trevor's children, if there's more than one. I don't know how many there are. But basically, they're Trevor's kids, not Mayhem's kids. So technically, that still is... Okay, we're going to work from home. Yeah, because otherwise... Yeah, pre-parental panic. She's like the father, but not really because she's not even the one who impregnated Trevor. So she's just going to be their other parent. I think on the family tree, it will show May as the other parent, but I'm not sure on that. It might not. Well, we do have a butler and I suppose we could hire a nanny and maybe we should get a live-in nanny, but then we're going to have to redo this apartment because this apartment was not set up to have kids on the first floor. I mean, we do have Adora's old bedroom, but I'm not sure if I should touch this. This should remain the way it is. Uh-oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are oh, and it's not even an alien bassinet. No. The alien bassinet has the option to send them home to the home world. You can't send them home unless they're in that bassinet. It has nothing to do with them being an alien baby. It's actually the bassinet. Okay, we have a girl. And since I didn't really have time to get comments for names, we're just going to go random here. And they're all going to be watermen because it's Trevor's kids. So we have Olivia. And how many are we going to get? Another girl. So we have two. This is going to be Christy Waterman. Oh no, three girls. All right, so this is typically how many you get with The Sims as a max, but it's not our max. Uh, Camille, our max is six. This is bad. And a boy, this is baby number four, Melvin. Okay, four babies. Uh, that's not good. Why are they not in the right bassinet? That is a base game bassinet. If, see, if you click, oh, you can send it home to Homeworld. Okay, before I think I had some bassinets that were the alien bassinets and you could click on them and send to home world. I thought it was a function of the bassinet. No, but these are true alien babies. Okay, so since they're true alien babies, I guess it gives you the option no matter what bassinet they're put in. And where are the other ones? I only see one. Where did you go? Oh, no. They're all around Adora. Why? I mean, I know that's a double bed, but there's other double beds in the house that were closer. Why are they up here with her? Okay, we'll have to move them. Okay, we're going to go ahead and hire a nanny because, yeah, this is going to be rough. I forget how long you can send them back to the home world for. I think it is only when they're a newborn, and I'm not sure how long when they're a newborn. We're definitely gonna make these bottle feeding. Who am I kidding though? I'm going to keep them because it's a little bit of chaos and that's exactly what we need. Especially since May didn't want any more kids and she only wanted one kid. It's just funny. Oh no, we lost one of the, oh, two of the little pets. Jellybean and Indigo are both passing away. Okay, here comes Grim again. Who are you getting this time, Grim? One of my goats? No, not that goat. Okay, it's horns. No, it's Gertrude. Oh, sorry, Gertrude. Well, the cows are becoming too old to live anymore, and so are all of the animals. It's so sad when we have to go through this multiple times, but... I do realize that they have had a long, happy life. I tried to care for them as best as I could, 
They always had a ranch hand. And they even had an animal petting day a couple of days ago. Why are you guys not feeding this baby? Put that baby down. Either feed it or go away. Well, maybe we should have the birthday and leave the nanny and the butler here to take care of the kids by themselves. Because it seems like they don't do too well when it's live. We'll make sure they're all fed. And then we're going to have a birthday party for Adora and go somewhere else. Oh, and Adora is now a high school D student because she didn't go to school today. And her grade was at the bottom of the C level. Oh, well. It really doesn't matter. Okay, it finally gave me the notification that it's Adora's birthday. So we definitely need to go tonight because if we did it tomorrow, she would age up in the middle of her birthday party because I'm not having the party before 4 p.m. So tonight is the night. What? Make himself to work? Ah, uh, that sucks. We'll have to wait until she comes back. And she's at work until 10 p.m. Great! Well, I can have her leave, but that's going to ruin her performance. Oh, and some of my pictures are gone. I, I give up taking pictures. I really like to take pictures, but unfortunately in my game, they turn black randomly, and I don't know what causes it. I don't put them in boxes, because I know that caused it at one point, but for some reason... It just turns black randomly. Oh no, we're losing Spotty. Now we're losing some of the goats. Oh, that's so sad. Come on. Goodbye, Spotty. One last pet. Don't laugh, Graham. That's not funny. Okay, why is a paparazzi here? And why is she pregnant and in labor? I think you should go home. Why is Trevor always so hungry? You just ate, Trevor. I could have sworn I made him eat something just a little bit ago. And that's why I set the babies to prefer bottle feeding because I didn't want him breastfeeding them. Okay, it's 2 a.m., but it's still not too late for a birthday party because Adora's energy is good. May's energy is okay, but she's a coffee fanatic. And Trevor, eh, it, it's okay. <laughs> He'll get over it. So we're going to have a small little birthday party and let's see where we're going to have it. Okay, we'll have it in one of the worlds. Um, Moonwood Mill, not the best location for a birthday party, but I suppose it's okay. Maybe we'll do the empty lot and I'll download something nice from the gallery. Okay, this is the Moonwood Mill Bandstand by Sarah LaCroix. So I will have this also linked in the description or written in the description so you can look it up on the gallery. But basically this is a Moonwood Mill lounge and it's basically the bar area turned into more of a nightclub type thing. And I love this. But I had to add a kitchen back here because unfortunately, since I am trying to throw a birthday party and I kind of forgot to bring a birthday cake, I will be needing the kitchen back here. Hopefully it doesn't rain because I don't think this is undercover. Well, I don't think it will matter though because you can still cook with a refrigerator even though it's broken. The stove uh, might be a problem. So yeah, this is not undercover, which is an, an issue. Now I did hire a caterer, but I'm going to cook a cake anyway. And Adora is wearing the most perfect outfit for this. But unfortunately, uh, all the guests are standing up on the stage, chipping me in my way. I wanted a screenshot of this, really. Can you guys go back downstairs, please? Oh. What was that? Why did she have negative romance? She wasn't even talking. She was just playing. How could she get negative romance? I also had to add a bunch of debug lights because this place was not lit up very well. Trevor, could you not get back there to bake cakes? No, you couldn't. Okay, all right. Our person who is a caterer is baking a cake. It's a white cake. I don't want a white cake. Why is there a white cake? Why are all these white cakes? I want a zombie cake. 
I think I'm just going to have to buy a zombie cake because this lady is relentless and I know she's just making regular cakes. Oh, and it is the newborn's birthdays. We're kind of going to ignore that. It is Adora's birthday today. And if you didn't know, you can get a room from the gallery that has all of the cakes in it. If you don't feel like baking a cake and you want to actually buy it. Now, I know I'm not paying for this, but to be honest, I tried several times to make a cake and couldn't. So I'm just going to use this thing. And I did pay for a caterer, so I should have my own cake. And I should have the cake that I request, not a plain white cake. Now, no one better take a piece of this cake before I put candles on it. Okay, it's already the next day. So we got to blow out the candles and make a wish. And I think Adora is going to be a party animal. Why are you in the way? Hopefully he gets out of the way. Happy birthday, Adora. Yeah, that's just a really bad angle for a screenshot. Happy birthday. Okay, so Adora is going to be a party animal. She's already self-absorbed and a music lover, which is determined by the rules. And she's going to have the world famous celebrity aspiration i'm not going to bother picking a different one so she can get a different well i could pick a different one so that she could get a different aspiration i'm not sure what we would want actually there's no secondary trait that really describes her i think gregarious is the best one but she already has that one so maybe we'll go with quick learner and I'll change her aspiration back after her age up. And she graduates with a D. <laughs> she is smart, but she's just not school smart, if you know what I mean. Okay, and then everyone can grab a piece of cake. It's also the newborn's birthdays, but I'm not sure what we'll do for that. We're going to have to age them up eventually or they're going to age up on their own maybe we'll kind of try to avoid that for now and we'll try to spend all night and all day here or at least we've already spent all night we're not even tired although trevor is for some reason i guess he didn't get as much sleep as the other two yeah i'm not loving the pathing to the bathroom that is actually kind of annoying and there's a nice little deck up here that you can sit and enjoy your drinks. But I don't know why anyone would ever come up here because there's no reason to. So most likely they wouldn't. They would all be down here eating. Okay, it is love day. But I don't know. The only one that we've really had any luck with is Richard. And I'm not sure if he is the one, but he is a music lover. So he seems to be a really good candidate. It's just that I was kind of disappointed in only having one option. Maybe we'll take Trevor out on a date today since it is love day. Oh, and speaking of that, not Trevor, <laughs> um, maybe we'll take Richard out on a date. But the only thing is Richard is still a teenager and we need to age him up. So we also need to age up all of Adora's friends. And it's 9 a.m. So they might all be going to school. Oh, look, now I have two nannies here. Yeah, this happens sometimes. I don't know why. But if you leave the lot and then come back, you might get more than one nanny. But it looks like they're leaving. So I might have to call another one. Oh, another one just showed up. <laughs> all right. Okay, let's figure out what world we're going to go with on a date in. Oh, Strangerville? Really? I guess. I mean, it's probably not that bad. Maybe we can pick a nice romantic date spot. Well, to be honest, it might be a little bit early for a date. So we're going to give the dog a bath since he needs it. And hopefully work on Mayhem's techie lifestyle. Now, I think one of the best ways to get the techie lifestyle and also to get the genius trait if you're looking for a trait from a personality discovery is to do robotics. Okay, Briley is asking us to come over and hang out. I guess we will. 
Did she invite over Richard? No. Oh, Briley is pregnant. And look at all these kids. Are these kids all yours? Well, um, I guess Briley is officially off the table if she was on the table. But anyway, let's see if she's still single. Yes, she's single, but I kind of think that she's pregnant. Yeah, there's Ask Baby's Due Date under Friendly instead of under the Mean category. So, yes, she's definitely pregnant. And I, I guess these might be her cousins or maybe her siblings. She's in a mixed family because they don't all have the same last name. Well... All we know is that we are not going to be able to date her because we need to have one set of triplets and I, or, or twins or multiples. But she's already pregnant. So I don't want to have so many kids in my household. That's just too much. We already have a set of kids that we weren't expecting. So... I guess we'll have to go with Richard. Okay, it was nice hanging out with you, Briley, but I think we're going to go on our date now. And here we are with Richard at the Hotel Lounge by Myrax. So this is a pretty nice hotel setup, and I saw this in the gallery, and it actually kind of fit in Strangerville, just a little bit. I mean, it's not green, and Strangerville is a lot of green and brick. Maybe red brick, but I guess it's other colors too. But anyway, it looked like the Strangerville vibe. So I decided to put it here and it's kind of like a hotel, but it's actually a lounge. So you can treat it like you went to the hotel restaurant and it's a fancy upscale place. I know Adora's not really dressed for it, but I think this will be kind of cute. Oh, and the bartender is up here facing backwards. Yeah, I might have to get rid of that bar. I don't like that bar. These are supposed to be bars in the rooms that you can kind of make your own drinks. But unfortunately, the bartender has chosen to go to that bar. That system is flawed. Okay, I have to make sure there's no other bars like that because... That's annoying. I want the bartender to be at a bar where you can actually order things. And it's good if it's something like here at the top level, then sure, that's fine. There's also one here in the main lobby. Or at least I thought there. Oh, it's over here. It's on the other side. So there's a kitchen bar over here. That's not as nice, but still, it's fine. And then down on the lower levels, I didn't even know this was down here. I discovered it on accident. There is a gym, a pool, and a bathroom area. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Now hopefully that bartender will go somewhere else. Okay, so Richard's last trait is he's cheerful. He's a music lover, a slob, and cheerful. They also have amazing compatibility now. I think it's because of a couple of likes that Adora got since meeting him. Yeah, I'm not sure they can both become playful at the same time, but actually it doesn't matter. Our date is already gold and we're not even done with the main goal. Wow, that's amazing. Okay, she wants to watch romantic TV because of the holiday. And hopefully the mixologist is here at this bar now. It looks like maybe... Oh, was someone giving us a gift? He must have given us a rose. Oh, he did. Sorry I missed that, Trevor. <laughs> or, sorry I missed that, Richard. Yeah, let's not sit down and play video games in the office. I wish you could lock this except for employees, but you can't really lock doors on lots that you don't own unless you download a mod. Well, this TV is in the completely wrong spot. I mean, I know it looks nice in the in the room, but 
yeah, that's just awkward. You can't really view it from the bed and you can't really view it from the couch. Well, let's see what they do. I want to watch romance together, but I don't think that you can specify that. We'll just watch TV together and see what they select. Okay, so yeah, that's the only acceptable place to watch the TV. So Richard is not going to sit next to Adora. That's an annoying. And they're watching World Culture Network. Really? Okay, now he's sitting down. Can I change the channel? No, it's not like a radio where you can change the channel while you're watching it. That's annoying. Where are you going, Adora? What? Why are you going downstairs? Oh, this is ridiculous. What are you doing? You have to go sit in a chair down here? Is that what it is? Or no. Oh, she cited a celebrity and for some reason had to go back downstairs to react to it. Well, that was annoying. Okay, hopefully he'll watch TV with me. Okay, and now she's playful. He's still flirty, but she's playful. Maybe we actually don't want to do that particular goal of the date because becoming playful with a bunch of happy buffs is always a bad idea. Okay, since we're at a hotel together, um, why not woohoo, Richard? This will be our first woohoo. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, Richard's night clothes are a little bit... Yeah, he needs a mic over. <laughs> okay, I guess we'll leave Richard sleeping in bed. Bye, Richard. Oh, no, the infants are coming. The infants are coming. The infants are coming. Okay, we have Olivia, who is cautious, Camille, who is sensitive, Christy, who is intense, and Melvin, who is wiggly. Oh, this just got so much more fun. Well, time for some renovations. Okay, welcome to the world of a lot of infants. Okay, Trevor, what are you going to do with that baby? Go put him to sleep. Okay, I think I've got them all going into the crib now and going to sleep. We'll see if they stay that way. Alright, good luck, Trevor. You're on your own. Okay, May finally has Techie in progress. I think it's the robotic station. Being in the tech guru career helps, but it's not as good as just tinkering at this robotic station. And what I did is I just made the bathroom really tiny over here. It's still not that bad. It's a pretty long bathroom, though. So it just has the toilet, the sink in this part, and then the shower and the tub in this part over here. It could actually be a little bit smaller, but I think it would be weird if it was any smaller. I mean, as it is, it doesn't have a window, which is not ideal for a bathroom, but... That's just how it ended up after I made their bedroom bigger. So now their bedroom is actually a little bit bigger than Adora's old room. And what I might do is actually split this room off and make a kid's bedroom out of it. Or we could keep May and Trevor's bedroom the larger bedroom and then I could make a string of bedrooms along this area over here and where May's office is and maybe May's office and Trevor's studio could become another kid bedroom and I could move the studio into here and into their own bedroom. I don't know. I'll think about that for next time. For right now, they're just infants. And when they're infants and maybe even toddlers, I think they can sleep in their parents' room and it not be too weird. But once they become children, they definitely need their own room. Maybe what we should have Adora do is go downstairs, actually, and just play around in the local area. We can put her little 
guitar busking station down here in the local square. Oh, actually, there already is one. Yeah, we just need to get this lady to get off. I, why is she playing that terrible guitar? That's a badly crafted guitar. They don't even sell those in Build Buy unless you use Debug. I think if you introduce yourself, you can get her to get off the music stand. And then, yeah, and then we can go busk with our guitar. <laughs> it's mine now. You got off. And the only reason why I want to torture myself like this is because I actually need to get Mayhem's tech lifestyle back and then we can go somewhere else and... Oh, Adora is going to be a perfectionist? Okay, that's, that's fine. That fits. So we need to live stream an unreleased game for May's task. She's supposed to be at work. No, we can't go hang out with you, Sean. May is not the center of the story right now, so I'm not going to go off somewhere with May and leave everyone else here. Okay, the babies are starting to wake up, and they are mad. Okay, everyone goes back to sleep. Okay, so May is actually enjoying watching the infants. She has this little buff that says, Aw, so cute from watching an infant. But she's really not doing anything to help. She's just doing her robotics thing. And everybody in here is upset. Why are you so upset? Alright, well, everybody's fed. I'm going to just ignore them right now. Alright, Trevor hates kids. Yeah, that sucks for you, Trevor. Sorry about that. Why don't you go take care of yourself, though? Because I don't want you to pee your pants. We also don't want you to starve. Oh, May goes to work in a few minutes, so I'm going to have to stop her from her tinkering. But she should go to work because going to work in the tech guru career actually gets her some points for being a techie. So we'll let her do that. Why did she put him down in front of the fridge? Oh, yeah, they can't sleep out here because of this thing. That might be bad. And Trevor is now a three-star celebrity. Oh, and my rodents are dying. Well, let me know in the comments. Should Adora marry her high school crush? Or should we look for someone else? To at least give us someone else to vote against. And also for her kids, go ahead and start dropping names in the comments. Because she's supposed to have multiples. So I need multiple names. And then if you also would like to, you don't have to, but if you would like to, in addition to names, give me a trait for the infant, a trait for the toddler, and then maybe an aspiration for the child. Because I think her traits are going to be set, but it would be nice to have a child story for each of the siblings. And then eventually, We'll decide which sibling gets to be the heir. Anyway, this is Charity. Thanks for watching.